Now, what we can also do, just to kind of measure the health of the um, economy, we can look at something known as the labor force, um, the labor force participation rate. So our one understanding of the health of the labor market was by looking at the unemployment rate. Well, in this statistic, um, essentially what we're doing is we're taking the labor force participation sorry, participation rate, LFPR. We're taking the basically the size of the labor force and we're dividing it by the civilian non-institutional population and multiplying it by 100. So if we use the numbers that we basically had from the previous lecture here, that means I'd be taking 161 one four six zero 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 over two five 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 six two zero 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 multiplying it by a hundred labor force participation rate, uh, which would give me something like 161146000 one, divided by 255562000. That's going to give me a labor force participation rate of approximately 63%. Basically, this gives me an understanding of the extent to which those who are able to work then choose to work. So right, uh, what I'm trying to basically do here is trying to separate out physical ability or legal ability to work from those who then uh, choose to work. Um, I would know I have an, perhaps an unhealthy labor market if people have an ability to work but don't aren't incentivized to actually start working. And I can get that good number from or a good sense of that from my labor force participation rate.